It's a crime that's gone unsolved for more than seven years. The killing of a young mother, 28-year-old Bridget Guerin. What started as a weekend getaway to Crystal Beach ended with the discovery of her body on the shore. Detectives have traveled across the country tracking down the people they believe are responsible. Tonight, a lead investigator in the case tells KFDM they have a number of persons of interest, including a man already behind bars on unrelated charges. KFDM's Haley Bull sat, sat down with the investigator and family members trying to help in their own way. She joins us now in the studio with her special report. Haley. Kelly, the investigator, says they're not giving up on this case. In fact, he says they're close to cracking it. Now they meet with the district attorney on a regular basis. But while they're making sure no stone goes unturned, Garen's mother is taking matters into her own hands by giving the world a glimpse into her daughter's life. Oh, look at that baby. I love that baby so much. A snapshot of a young woman, a mother, a daughter. Somebody needs to pay for this. Discovered on the shore of Crystal Beach. And the big shame is that um, somebody is getting away with murder. The murder of 28-year-old Bridget Guerin. An investigator's hunt for her killers, a mother's search for justice. Oh, she's so beautiful. 100 pictures. Capture the life of the young woman in a matter of minutes. I want the whole world to see she's not just another case. Um, she was a victim in a horrible way, but that's my baby. A glimpse into Guerin's life, her mother posted to YouTube. I want everybody to know this is a person that was loved. A reminder her daughter's life still matters, and Pamela Kimball's search for answers. I know it's terrible, but I want to know why. You know, what did my baby do that was so bad that they had torture her, strangle her, and murder her, and rape her? No person deserves that. And she was just a sweet, good little mommy and a good daughter, a good friend, a good sister, a good cousin. She was just a good person and there was no there's no reason for that and now there's no justice july 15 2007 urine and her two-year-old daughter are spending the weekend at crystal beach with a group of co-workers investigators say about midnight Guerin agrees to go cruise the beach with some people according to witnesses two young girls Guerin walks down to the beach when they arrive she's gone she came according to the witnesses she had come probably right in this area. She was just past the beginning of these dunes here. Now, of course, at the time, there were some houses here. They're gone as well. And uh, the girls and their family, they're sitting over by the waterside. And a little black SUV pulls up. And so that puts Bridget on the opposite side from them. But they could see her legs under there. They could tell there was some kind of little confrontation went on. Uh, and she walked away from the vehicle. But God forbid. Instead of walking back to the house or towards the lights, she walked this way and she walked about 50, 60 feet and the vehicle sat here and then it pulled up next to her and there was a confrontation and she wound up in the vehicle. Investigators believe someone grabbed and pulled Guerin into the vehicle, sped away and took her a short distance down the beach. While people start looking for her early in the morning, off-duty paramedics spot her body on the shoreline. It wasn't long before Lieutenant Tommy Hansen arrives on the scene. You know, uh, we feel everything probably transpired in this, this area here. Bridget's mother, Pamela Kimball, finds out the devastating news and has to tell Guerin's two-year-old daughter. You know, and I held her in my lap. And she's right here looking up at me, and she kept wanting to know where her mom was. And I said, baby, I said, you know how you keep asking about your mommy? And she said, yeah. And I said, well, I said, I'm so sorry, sweetie, but mommy's not coming back. A crime sending Hanson and others on a search for Guerin's killers. I do feel to this very day that there was more people on this beach that night that know what all happened here or who all was involved. And I, I would like for some of them to come forth. 
But after countless miles of driving across the country, developing hundreds of leads, writing thousands of pages of reports. We are, uh, in my personal opinion, extremely close to this. Investigators are close to finding Guerin's killers. To those people, a message from a mother. How dare you? Take someone's life and torture someone like that. That's all I could say. How, how, how could you? A life cut short. Avoid words can't describe. You know, I've been knocked down a lot of times, but this time I didn't think I was going to get back up. And I was ready to die and not be here anymore. But um, God made me all better. But you know, now? I came back to life, and my thinking cleared up. And I said, oh, my goodness, my baby. My baby has no justice. I've got to do something. What she did? Oh, that's this okay. video. <laughs> that maybe pushes someone to come forward. I love it. It's excellent. That's my baby. Mm -hmm. That's my sweet baby. If you have any information about the murder, you can call the Galveston County Sheriff's Office or your local law enforcement agency. Go to KFDM.com and we've posted a link to the full YouTube video created by Bridget's mother and information on a balloon release scheduled for March 7th. In the studio, Haley Bull, 6 News Tonight.